All right, it's 2022 now, and we are absolutely due up for a new Dragon Ball game. Now, if you clicked on this and you're like, well, Nano, obviously, a new Dragon Ball game is coming this year because Dragon Ball The Breakers is releasing in just, you know, five, six, seven months. Yes, that is true. And while I'm actually very excited for The Breakers, I think it's a nice sort of breakaway from the last 20 years of pretty predictable games where it's either arena fighter or some sort of back and forth where you play through the story of dragon ball and you call it a day go online with some pvp and that's pretty much it so the breakers is a nice breakaway don't hate me <laughs> don't hate me from the typical formula we are used to and i'm so here for that i want to see more developers come on board and make new unique sort of dragon ball games what if there's another one coming the breakers i think obviously bandai and all the ip holders they probably see the breakers as more as a supplemental release anyway the game that they've already admitted exists within the xenoverse universe and is literally being developed by dimps the developers of xenoverse one and two so i don't feel like you can count that as the full total release of the year we've been on a more two-year release cycle now in the last like five or six years xenoverse 2 released in 2016 fighters released in 2018 hacker Up released in 2020 well, now it's 2022 and if you remember and you recall back in the day it wasn't uncommon to get multiple dragon ball games in one year and in fact it was more common there for a while because they were releasing so many just different games releasing games over on the 3ds releasing games on the vita you what there used to be more games releasing bro the drought is real so that brings me to this video right here if you guys weren't aware i'm a little late to this but i still want to talk about it about a week ago cc2 revealed they are announcing a new game in february now cc2 are the people that are responsible for dragon ball kakarot personally loved that game they also revealed cells for that game it is actually at about 4.5 million which if you ask me for a single player dragon ball experience i think that's good really really good i definitely can't imagine they look at that and go that wasn't a success well cc2 is of course also responsible for things like the most recent demon slayer game storm series something i am a particular fan of Sura's Wrath, plus a ton of other games. They absolutely have to have multiple development teams going on over there to release the amount of games they've released for the last 10, 15, 20 years. Well, I don't want to take away from the hype of a lot of other people that enjoy a bunch of different anime, myself included, right? Like, I definitely would be excited for the announcement from CC2 to be like a My Hero game. I don't watch it, but I know a lot of people love Jujutsu Kaisen. It's on my list, okay? It's on my list. I want to watch JJK. I've heard it's hype. I've heard it deserves the watch. I'm getting there. Or Bleach. Bleach is coming back this year, too. So I know a lot of Bleach fans would be very excited for this announcement to be about Bleach. Literally anything but Dragon Ball. Like a new Baruto game. I'm sure there are so many more people that would rather this not be a Dragon Ball announcement than would. But there's one little caveat here. In February, matter of fact, towards the end of February, we are getting the official second ever Dragon Ball Battle Hour. Now, not to say this is a coincidence and they, these have literally nothing to do with one another. The chances of them having something to do with one another are probably pretty high. And thinking that, I feel like you could go multiple routes here. Obviously, when I was playing through Kakarot and I, of course, streamed the entire experience, I talked a lot on the fact I would love to see them do this with Super. Like, I would love to see CC2's take on the Tournament of Power, on, you know, the Goku Black arc. I think those would be really, really fun to play through. And also, for the love of everything, would be something new, right? Like, while I did love my experience with Kakarot, I think it is sort of the definitive way to experience the story through a video game. We've played that story a ton. You know what we haven't played through? The Tournament of Power. We haven't played through the Goku Black arc. We haven't even played through Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. Yes, there were DLC, but they could have absolutely dived down into those so much more, okay? Or even Universe 6 vs. 7. There's still a lot they could do. So obviously, they could go the route of Dragon Ball Super Kakarot, which I would not be opposed to at all. Now, in that announcement of saying hey we're releasing a new game or we're revealing a new game which more than likely will release sometime later this year they said it would shake the world now that could be pretty much any anime ever <laughs> like at some point your your mc of every anime has something where they get a power up for the most part okay some sort of power up where it's like shake the world could mean anything else and i'm absolutely open to you going down there right now commenting and telling me what you think him saying shake the world could mean but what happens a lot in dragon ball <laughs> they power up and they shake the universe at this point so i'm like am i am i just going crazy here am, am i too deep into the dragon ball superverse and, and and the dragon ball just conspiracy theories and everything 
that I'm like, you literally said shake the world. It is absolutely a Dragon Ball reference. The thing is, this will be Bleach. I think that would shock people like crazy. I, I believe Storm series is like officially done, but that's not to say that they couldn't create a whole new Naruto series developed by CC2 or Barto or, you know, whatever, you know, or my hero. I, I'm trying to think of, of big anime, right? Like obviously in this era, they're not going to make a game over an old anime that doesn't have hype currently. At least I don't feel like CC2 is. Like, I think if you come out with like, something I would obviously love, is a new Yu Hakusho game. You know, that would be, that would be just the sickest thing to me, but Yu Hakusho is not hyper. And I don't think that's what CC2 develops. I think CC2 is on a much more higher echelon of developing for anime games and developing for, you know, Yu Hakusho, unless it's going to make some miraculous comeback, something, I don't know. You know what I mean? They're absolutely going to be making something for a concurrent anime that has a lot of hype and a lot of movement behind it. Dragon Ball getting a new movie this year. Dragon Ball in general is just, you know, obviously massive IP. On the flip side though, what I'm trying to get to is that if it is a Dragon Ball game, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Kakarot sequel. I feel like CC2 developing a Dragon Ball Arena Fighter would fight and play so much differently than say Xenoverse, Xenoverse 2, you know, Rage blast and all of those games i actually would be very excited to see them create an arena-based fighter like demon slayer i'm sorry i've never played storm series not even once so i don't know but i've been told that those play like the demon slayer game so playing a game similar to how demon slayer plays but it being dragon ball sounds really really fun so here's the thing if cc2's announcement is not a dragon ball game at the dragon ball battle hour in literally about a month and a half i'm sliding on my chair <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I will be moderately shocked. And if CC2 isn't the one developing the next Dragon Ball game, I fully believe we will have another one announced very soon. They're bringing out a movie. The anime has been a pending comeback for four years at this point. The anime is just massive. The IP is massive. It's like a top 20 earning IP in the entire world. They're in the ranks of Pokemon, Marvel, all those. Like, I mean, Dragon Ball is just massive and i really truly to the bottom of my heart do not believe that the breakers is the only thing we see this year we've been in like honestly we've been in an insane anime game or just honestly games in general drought for a long time so like i'm just Dream. at the idea of finally getting some new games to just sink my teeth into and play and create content for on this channel so i'm very interested in seeing what you all think is coming out of the CC2 announcement. Do you think, even if it's not CC2 at Dragon Ball Battle Hour, do you think the Battle Hour still has some sort of new reveal, whether it be a new mobile game, a new console game, a new something that isn't just related to the Breakers? Or do you think they're just putting their entire focus on Breakers? Again, I think that they are fully self-aware that Breakers is a much more experimental and supplemental game and not like a full-fledged game. We know it's not, it's literally not a 60, it's not even going to be a $60 game. They confirmed that it's not a fighter. It's not a Kakarot. It's not a Xenoverse 2, it's not meant to be. Be. Let's just be fun and play with your friends, hop in, hop out. Like, I think they get that. So I'm very excited for Battle Hour. It's about six weeks away, and I am very interested in seeing if CC2 ends up coming out. Dude, if like one of the leads from CC2 show up there, come out on stage, it's just like, it's over, bro. It's over, and I'm going to be super excited to see what they announce. But that's it for me. Y'all have a great day. Keep on keeping on. Now, Jenny, sign off. Let me know down below. What are your thoughts? What are you expecting? But I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.